Welcome to Deadly Dames and this is our review of I Saw the Devil. So way back before Christmas I'd put a list of films on here and Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, movies which I'd owned for quite a long time and shamefully hadn't watched yet. And I sort of asked all of you to pick which ones you would like us to review. And I Saw the Devil was one of them. And believe it or not this is just us getting around to watching it. So I actually did watch this with Claire but unfortunately she's working so I'll be doing the review myself. Um, this movie was phenomenal. So where to start on it? Well basically I don't want to give too much of the storyline away but and I will say some spoilers because obviously there will be some things that I do say hopefully that don't ruin the movie too much because I want everybody to experience what we experienced. But the movie sort of starts with the two main characters but it starts with a woman in a car who's broken down and she phones her fiancé who's played by the character here. Um, his act, the actor's name is Lee Byron, Byron Hun if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then there's also... Chow Man Singh, who Chow Man Sik, who's the actor from Old Boy. I probably pronounced her names completely wrong there, so I'm really sorry if I did. But she's broken down in a car. She's waiting for a tow truck, and then the guy from Old Boy approaches her and offers her help. We quickly learn that he's actually not a nice guy, and he's not offering her help, and he kidnaps her and does horrible things to her. And then it becomes a story of vengeance, and you see that her fiance, who works for intelligence goes out for vengeance and he goes on this um, path of wanting to find the killer. So he goes hunting for the killer and he's relentless in it and he's he wants to find the person that was responsible for his fiancée's horrible, brutal death. The movie builds and builds and builds to an amazing climax and the thing with it is that it's the killer in this movie which is, is horrible and we all relate to the fiancé character because if you were in that situation, you would want to do the same. You would want vengeance for what had happened to your loved one. But the killer in this is truly terrifying. Uh, the actor does a phenomenal job at just making him terrifying. Makes him disgusting looking and, and creepy. And, and both Claire and I actually went to the extent of saying that we would put this movie on one of our most disturbing watch lists because, because of him. So as much as the movie itself was about a disturbing subject matter... It's him that makes it even more disturbing. And the thing with him is, the movie starts with him kidnapping and, and, and killing and brutally killing these women. But as the movie goes on, you start to realise that he's actually a sexual fiend as well. And, and it does touch on aspects of, of rape, And but they don't, they don't start with that. So your imagination starts thinking, well, hold on, if he's done those horrible, brutal things to those women at the beginning, he must have also done the, this as well. And it's just truly horrible thinking about the things that he would have done. And I think what's really horrible about it is that in reality, we have all turned on the news and we have all seen stories about body parts found somewhere, which are real. So there are real people out there exactly like this guy. And that's what's truly, truly terrifying about it. The way that this movie is shot, uh, the cinematography, the choreography, can I say that? And the lighting, it's just amazing. It all works so well together. And the fight scenes, they just blew my mind. They were amazing the way that they, the way that they played. I think what's really good about this film as well is that although it's a good guy v's bad guy, the lines blur because they're both extremely cocky characters. They both think they're they're invincible and they're not going to get away with it. When he goes out for vengeance, he thinks up this amazing plan in order to get it. Not playing out that you know what this could lead to more people getting hurt he just thinks that he's in control and he knows what he's going to do to catch this guy to get his revenge and then on the opposite side you've got the killer who no matter what happens no matter how much he's being stalked by by the, by this intelligence guy after him no matter what he does to him he still wants to do the things that he does and he still thinks he'll get away with it so in, a, in an odd sort of way they're like they're like a coin, they're like each side of a coin um, because they're quite similar in that way that they think they both think they're invincible and that neither of them are going to falter, that they're, they're both going to get what they want at the end. The movie is it's very fast-paced, but it's great because of that because you don't get bored, you don't have a second to get bored. And the great thing about this is we Claire and I actually threw this movie on quite late at night expecting 
because we'd actually watched Single White, White Female before it and we put this one on expecting to kind of be like, well, we'll watch a bit of it and then we'll wa probably watch the rest on the other day. But the movie was that good that we couldn't stop it. We just watched the whole thing from beginning to end without blinking, I think, because it was just so good. And the character development and the way that they, they built on how horrible he was, I mean, he's truly disgusting. I mean, you need to watch this movie just to realise how terrifying he is. But we, we couldn't blink. We just had to watch the whole film. It was excellent. It was another case of a movie which deals with a really horrible, horrible subject matter that you shouldn't find good, but you do. You you just think the way that it's been executed, the way it's been directed, acted, the music, everything in it just works. And it's the best movie I've seen in a long time. It was just such a good, good film. I would say um, a lot of people out there, when I speak to people about films, and believe it or not, more often than not, will say, oh, I would never watch a movie with subtitles. And I think that's crazy because some of the best movies that I have ever seen, like Pan's Labyrinth or Ink, for example, they're foreign films and they're amazing. And I think if you're one of those people out there that don't watch a movie just because it's got subtitles, you're losing it big time by not watching this film. This film was amazing. I, I mean, I know I keep saying amazing, but that's because it is. That's how good it was. Um... I definitely will 1 million percent watch this movie again. It was that good. I actually started to look for other films that the director had done as soon and the actors were in as soon as it had finished because I was so impressed by the direction of the film and the acting in the film was just astonishing. It was amazing. And there we go again with that word amazing, but it was excellent. There we go. We'll, we'll change it up a bit. And I thought I have to watch some more of these, these films from these guys. But anyway... That is our review of uh, I Saw the Devil. I would I would rate this movie up there with the best. And um, if you haven't seen it, I would highly, highly recommend that you get yourself a copy of it. It's actually not an expensive movie, so you could pick it up for a pound, a couple of pounds, and it's well worth it. It is really, really worth picking up, spending those couple of pounds to watch this movie. I'm going to upgrade it to Blu-ray because I love that. They love the movie so much. Um, I would say go and get yourself a copy if it's on Netflix, if it's on Amazon go and watch it right now because the movie is that good but um, anyway thank you for picking it on our pick our reviews because I'm, I'm not sure how long it would have sat on my shelf if you hadn't picked it and any questions anything you want to talk about, if you've seen it and you think it's as amazing as I do or even if you've seen it and you didn't like it let me know why, I would like to talk about it I'd like to try and change your mind and if you've not seen it and you want to ask some more about it, leave the comments below. I will get back to you. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'm going to go watch Gun Woman, which is another one that we'd said we're going to watch and review. And uh, hopefully that will be our next review on here. And uh, as always, take care.